Good morning, New York traders. Super quiet day here in FX. Euro has been 96.18. Cable has been 35.70. Dollar Swiss has been, I don't know, 58.78. Very low participation rate. All eyes are on the weekly and daily close of the S&P minis. The 200 day comes in at, I don't know, 88. 87 yesterday's low was 93 this has now become a momentum trade prices below 90 you just want to smash you leave your stop above the figure and you're looking for a close down near 2550 or lower on the day and the week if we decide to melt up today on low participation that's fine we won't be involved with that this probably is a fade up at 2683 but that's so far away you know what are you going to do if we close up near 2683 it, it's probably bullish so this is one of those days where the strategy is not to sell high ones the strategy is to sell low ones ideally this goes in the last hour of trade and then there's big volume and a bit of panic and if it doesn't and it melts higher um, we're just going to stand aside as far as currencies go, the setups aren't great. 122.40 is your big point in Euro. It's too far away. Uh, Sterling Swiss is a nice setup here, but it is Sterling Swiss, so no one really cares. But 134.90 is a nice point, technically. This would be like the three-year highs. Nice little pivot. 135, the figure. Psychological level, if you can break through that. The Brexit highs on this sucker, um, 142. So you got 700 Swiss points to win on a clean break of 134.90. That's the best foreign exchange chart, uh, but our focus, uh, like it has been all week, is on equities. This is where the vol is. This is where the money is to be made. So I suggest this is where you focus your attention as well. Alrighty, guys. That's it for now. Uh, I will uh, see you after Easter. Actually, no, I won't see you after Easter. Taking next week off, I will see you in 10 days' time. Enjoy, guys. Ciao.